In this Do It step-by-step -step video, I will go through some tips and pointers for using a router to ease the edges of the wedding arch that I designed and built, as well as a vinegar and steel wool staining technique that I used to produce a warm brown color with wood grain highlights, and how I use the polyurethane and steel wool to give a smooth satin finish. For the edges, my preference was to keep the double rabbit joints tight and sharp and have the inner and outer hexagon edges rounded over and smooth. To get a clean, tight rabbit joint, I used sandpaper and a wood file to remove any roughness and small chips. Then I assembled the wedding arch before I used the router to round over the inner and outer edges. Doing this allowed for a continuous edge path for the router and prevented me from accidentally rounding over the edges of the double rabbit joints with the router. For the base supports, I also kept the half lap joints close and sharp and rounded over the other edges with the router. Then I lightly sanded the surfaces prior to staining. Again, this is my preference. You may want a different look, so be creative and make your wedding arch your own. I wanted a warm dark brown wood color without hiding the beauty of the natural wood grain highlights. To achieve this, I made my own stain. I took a small jar and filled it with white vinegar up to the bottom of the mouth and then added a piece of steel wool about the size of my palm. I closed the lid but not too tightly because there's some degassing and other activities in there as the steel wool starts to react with the vinegar. At first, the steel wool will float, but eventually it'll break up and settle to the bottom of the jar. After 24 hours or so, the stain will be ready to use when the steel wool is broken up and the vinegar has changed color. Secure the lid and gently shake the jar. When your stain is ready, I recommend making a color strip by taking a scrap piece of wood and applying one coat of stain using a chip brush or a rag. If after 30-40 minutes the stain is fully soaked in, draw a line about an inch off the edge and then stain the bigger area with another coat of stain. Once dry, draw another line an inch from the first line and continue this process until you have several coat samples. After the stain has fully dried, you can apply a coat of polyurethane to one half of the color strip so you can see the color difference. That way you can choose the required number of stain coats that you will need to get the results you want, especially if you apply a polyurethane coating over that. The method I used to apply the stain the first time was to use a piece of rag soaked in the staining solution. And I would take the rag, soak it, and then rub it into the wood grain. This would help make sure that I had 100% coverage. Each stain coating after that was applied with a bristle brush and then rubbed in with a gloved hand. This way you get a feel for if the stain is still floating on the surface of the wood or if it's being absorbed because it starts to feel a little rough and you need a little bit more pressure as it gets soaked in. This is your glue to apply more stain with the bristle brush and then rub it in with the gloved hand. Once you've completed your staining, the next step is to apply your polyurethane finish. Follow the manufacturer's recommendations for application and recoat times. Once my pieces have cured, I finished the surface with a steel wool rub down. I used the 4 aught steel wool and used gentle pressure to even out the surface and make sure I had a uniform satin finish. I am really pleased on how well this wedding arch turned out. The details, the finish, and the quality of the build have far exceeded my expectations. And the wedding party, well, they were very happy too. And I hope your project turns out well too. And now you know how to do it, step by step.